A FOX NEWS ALERT ON HILLARY CLINTON'S VICE PRESIDENTIAL PICK, WHICH COULD BE ANNOUNCED AS EARLY AS TOMORROW. ONE LEADING CONTENDER IS ABOUT TO HOLD AN EVENT. WE'RE TALKING ABOUT SENATOR TIM KAINE OF VIRGINIA. HE'LL BE HOSTING A ROUNDTABLE DISCUSSION ON TOLERANCE AND RELIGIOUS FREEDOM THAT IS ABOUT TO GET UNDERWAY. EARLIER TODAY, SENATOR KAINE WAS ASKED IF HE WOULD LIKE TO BE HILLARY CLINTON'S RUNNING MATE. I'm a happy senator, and I'm not looking for another job. <laughs> I'm a happy senator, I'm not looking for another job. And it has been a real honor, as you can see, the honor of my job is getting to stand with, with folks like these and learn from them and then try to represent them. So let's talk about the Clinton beef steaks with Ford O'Connell, GOP strategist and adjunct professor at GW Graduate School of Political Management. Julian Epstein is former chief counsel for the Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee and former staff director for the House Government Reform Committee. Julian, if it were you, would you pick Senator Kane? I think he's a good choice. I think he's a safe choice. Uh, he may not be the most imaginative choice of all the possible candidates, but I think he's a good choice and a safe one. The Republican theory of this uh, election, I think, John, for the most part, is that if Donald Trump is going to win, he's going to have to win somewhere between 65 and 70 percent of the white vote. Uh, and that's because of changing demographics. That's because of Donald Trump's deficit with women, Hispanics, African Americans, and others. He's going to have to win about 65, 70 percent of the vote. The reason that Hillary Clinton, I think, is likely to pick Senator Kane is because he does so well with white working class voters. He performed exceptionally well in Virginia when he was governor of that state, now a senator of that state. So I think he is a likely choice. Certainly the people around uh, the Clinton campaign seem to think he is uh, the selection at this point. Okay, so Ford O'Connell, from the Republican point of view, would you like to see Hillary Clinton pick Tim Kaine? Well, Hillary Clinton's going to pick Tim Kaine. The only question is when she rolls him out. If Donald Trump hits it out of the park tonight here in Cleveland, she's going to want to steal the news cycle from him. She's going to unfurl him down in Miami. And the reason's very simple. It's not just white working class voters that Hillary Clinton is having trouble bringing into the tent. She also wants to make sure that she fires up Hispanics. Tim Kaine's a Catholic missionary. He also speaks fluent Spanish. She wants to solidify that between the I-4 corridor and Miami-Dade and Broward County. So this makes perfect sense for her, particularly if Donald Trump slams at home. I don't think it's really going to make a, a darn bit of difference, to be perfectly honest with you, because this is a safe pick. It's not really going to fire up the Bernie Sanders base. And frankly, she's just running on, I'm going to torch Donald Trump because this is going to be a race to the bottom. Donald Trump. I think Ford's right. I, I think Ford's right. If I can just butt it, uh, jump into there, John, <laughs> wow. real quick. I think Ford's exactly right about that. I think, in fact, a lot of people in the Bernie Sanders camp will not like the Tim Kaine choice because he's been moderate on a lot of issues like trade. Uh, he's, you know, uh, his history on, cho on questions of choice. So I think the Bernie Sanders camp won't particularly like it, but I think he is the best choice right. from a general election this, this point of view. The second point I would uh, make is to Ford's very good point about the rollout. The rollout of this VP uh, selection, I think, will be very carefully done. You will see Hillary and Tim Kaine together. They will go on the road together. That's in stark contrast to what you saw with Donald Trump and Mike Pence, where the choreographing of the introduction of Pence wasn't done particularly well. Everything from the music to the website. Ju you no. didn't well, see them in public events together. And then, Julia, of course, Mike Pence was stepped on last night.